Welcome to this assembly tutorial for the robotic gripper guys. In this video we will be assembling all of the part that we have created earlier in this video. So let's begin. And in case if you want to make all of those parts in SOLIDWORKS, I will provide the link for the whole playlist in description. So let's begin. Click on file, click on new, select assembly this time and then click OK. After that this window will automatically get appeared. Here you have to go into the folder where you have saved all of these parts. So then click on plate and click open. And here we have to repeat few steps. We are going to change the background to plain white for better visualization. After that click on insert components and this folder will automatically get open and open this clamp and place it here. Now if you want to rotate this part, you can rotate it. The plate is by default is fixed so you can rotate other parts. Okay, now let's move it here. In plate we have this larger side and the smaller side. So we are going to assemble this part uh, toward the smaller side. Okay, now select this face and click on this mate option. Okay, now select this back side of the plate and check this box from here. Now this is assembled on the back side. Now move this part away from the plate and then click this inner side of the hole and this inner side of the hole and then make sure that this is concentric mate and then check this box from here. Now this is assembled correctly and then click on insert component again we are going to insert this same clamp again click on open you can place it here and if you want to rotate you can rotate it like this okay now we are going to assemble it so i'm clicking on mate in this window we are going to select again this back side of the plate and this front side or top side of the clamp and check this box from here now similarly we are going to do the same step we are going to move it away from the body and then uh, i'm selecting this top side of the plate although we do not want this so if uh, anything you do not want is selected prior priorly you can delete it from here now i am selecting these inner side of the holes and check this box make sure that this is concentric mate so this is assembled and we can move it like this and now we are going to click on insert component again and this time i'm opening the gripper click open and you can place it here and if you want to rotate the part you can click on rotate and you can rotate rotate it like this okay and now we are going to assemble it so you can move it closer to this body okay now i'm selecting this face click on mate now this face is priorly selected and we only have to select on this top face and they're assembled now we only have to assemble the holes so i am clicking on both of the holes although you can move the body away if you want to okay and now we only have to assemble the hole and also the faces so i'm so priorly i'm assembling the faces and then the holes this one and this one and they are assembled you can check the box you can cross this mate option okay and now you can rotate it like this okay so few part of the assembly is completed now click on insert component and this time i'm inserting this pin place it here you can rotate it if you want to but in my case the orientation is fine click on mate and select the shaft of the pin and this hole check this box cross it you can move it up like this okay now click on mate again and in this window we are going to select this flatter part of the pin and this surface of the plate and check this box okay now cross it again we are going to insert the same pin again okay and we are going to repeat few steps just like we have done click on mate so this time i'm going to select this face and this face this flatter face by the way of the pin and check this box and after that i'm going to assemble the 
shaft with the hole like this check this box okay and now click on insert component again this time i am inserting the aligner which is this part place it here now if you want to rotate definitely you can rotate it like this okay so click on mate select this circular part of the aligner and this hole of the plate okay now we have to assemble the faces so this face and back side of this plate check this box so they are assembled okay so now uh, what we are going to do is we are going to insert pin so that we can assemble the gripper so i am going to repeat few more steps just like we have done priorly and i'm basically assemble the top face of the clamp and this face of the pin and then this shaft of the pin and this hole okay now you can insert the same pin by using the same method or you can hold the control key and drag this pin like this so you have both of the options which are whichever option uh, is easier for you you can select that option and then this shaft and this hole and then check this box from here okay so this much assembly has been completed you can save it it's better to save it priorly and uh, along each step you can press ctrl s button because solidworks gets crashed sometime so all of the progress gets wasted to prevent it from that thing we save it so this time i am inserting the gear you can rotate it from here like this so that it suits the correct orientation okay and now we are going to assemble this gear here on this so click on mate and uh, select this back side of the gear check this box and then this hole of the gear with this hole of the clamp okay so they are assembled we can do all of this manual stuff over and over again in order to assemble the gripper but we have a shortcut we will use the mirror feature so click on this plate this plate will get highlighted in the feature tree and here you have to find this plane this plane uh, this one that cuts this plate like this as you can see this blue colored plane you have to hi highlight this plane in my case this is the front plane it could be different in your case but you have to make sure that you have to select this plane and here drop down this menu and click on mirror components so this plane is automatically get highlighted we have selected it priorly in this window we are going to select the gear this clamp this clamp the gripper and these pins all of these pins and this aligner as well we are not going to select the plate so make sure do not select the plate only and all of the other stuff would be selected you can press this button to show and as you can see and check this box from here so sometimes in solidworks we use these shortcuts because you know there were a lot of mates we have made priorly to assemble the partial parts and the rest of the part we have assembled like this okay now this time we are going to create a plane so select this face of the gear and back side back face of the gear so a plane that basically cut the gear right in between half like this has been created you can check the box we are going to use this plane in order to mirror all of the stuff to the other side so keep uh, selecting this plane and again we are going to use the same mirror component feature so in this uh, window we have selected this plane okay as you can see it from here if you can if you didn't select you can select it like this and in the next window other than the gears we are going to select all of the parts 
so make sure to not select the gears and select all of the other parts in the next uh, window as you can see it from here so all of these parts that you have selected are turned into blue and as you can see all of these parts have been mirrored like this so if you want to manually uh, assemble all of these parts you can uh, select insert component and you can definitely assemble all of these parts or you can either use these shortcuts to assemble all of this assembly and now this time highlight this uh, gripper and you have to select this front plane that's basically cut this gripper in half like this we have other planes but we need this plane that cut this gripper in half like this and definitely select the mirror component again and this time i am going to mirror these pins so select these pins and you can watch it and then you can check it from here so the front side pins of the gripper have been mirrored to the other side so this is a shortcut okay now we are left with one more part so uh this motor attachment okay so select this face and select the very first option we are going to make few changes in this plate so select this face and click on sketch we have to create uh, the changes in the larger side of the gripper so create a vertical straight line and select a midpoint line and create a straight line make sure that you have assigned here vertical relation and make it as construction geometry as well do not forget to make it as construction geometry which means do not forget to make these lines as uh, center lines now uh, the length of this line is four millimeter the diameter of this circle is four millimeter and the length of this line is 30 millimeter okay now select mirror entities select this circle and in the next window i'm going to select this line so that it can get mirrored like this just change this line to 16 millimeter go to features select extruded cut here you have to specify through all and check this box from here okay you have to press ctrl s button or you have to go to file and click on save and then cross this window from here okay now these holes have been created for the motor attachment that we have not done priorly so just to show you if you have missed something in your file you can definitely go back like this and you can adjust those things like this now i'm going to assemble this uh, motor attachment with the gripper this hole aligning with this hole and you can check this box from here and as you can see the motor attachment has been added now we are only left with the pins so you can insert those pins from here i'm going to insert only one pin and then i will mirror the rest of the pins so make these like this and this hole with the shaft of the pin okay now i'm going to mirror stuff so although you can manually uh, mate the pins if it is harder for you so i am selecting this plane that basically cut this uh, motor attachment in half this one okay and then select here mirror component and in this window i'm going to select this one and it's appeared here and again select this motor attachment it's get highlighted here here you have to select this time this plane mirror and components and both of these components it they will get mirrored to the other side as you can see it from here so we are done uh, with the pins and all of the parts for this gripper so that's how we create gripper in solidworks guys if you uh, like this video if you like this whole playlist 
then please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel if you want to share this playlist with your friends do share it with your friends and thanks for watching guys see you in the next video